What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple surprised us with the release of iOS 14.4.2 to the public and this comes just about three weeks after the release of iOS 14.4.1 which of course patched up some important security bugs. Now in addition to iOS 14.4.2, Apple also released iPadOS 14.4.2 iOS 12.5.2 for older devices like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 that are not supported with iOS 13 or iOS 14, and then also watchOS 7.3.3. So as usual, in this video, we're gonna be covering what's new in the software, discuss the security patch, the performance, the battery life, and what the heck is going on with iOS 14.5. So let's go ahead and get started off with the size of this update. And you can see here on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, the update came in around 203.9 megabytes. And you can see on the update screen, it says this update provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. But let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update. So if you go to our settings, general about 14.4.2, you can see the build there is 18D70. And then if we scroll down to the modem firmware, the modem firmware is unchanged in this update. So it remains at 1.42.03. So if you were having any type of connectivity issues or anything related to the modem, those are unlikely to be fixed in this update due to there not being a modem firmware update. So now what's new in iOS and iPadOS 14.4.2? And just like I said in my 14.4.1 video, when we have a point of a point release, like a 0.4.2, that is almost always just a security fix or a bug fix update, and that's exactly what this is today. So 14.4.2 is quite literally just a security patch update. There are gonna be no visual changes. I went all throughout these settings, you know, I went everywhere where there could be a potential change in the control center, pretty much everywhere, and I did not see anything visually that has changed in this update. So the only thing, as Apple mentions, you know, in the release notes, is a security patch update. If we go to the security content of 14.4.2 and iPadOS 14.4.2. This is where Apple tells us about those security updates and exactly what has been patched. And if we scroll down, you can see that there was a pretty major bug that was patched here in iOS 14.4.2, iPadOS 14.4.2, and then also this is the same bug that was patched in watchOS 7.3.3 and iOS 12.5.2 for those older devices. So it's the same bug, Again, just like 14.4.1, the same bug was patched across all you know, operating systems from Apple. So as you can see, it is a WebKit vulnerability and you can see the impact there is processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to universal cross-site scripting. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So that means that this actual vulnerability, this bug was being exploited in the real world. So you know, some people were actually impacted by this in a negative way. So their security was breached and you know Apple is solving this by addressing improvement management of object lifetimes. So very interesting WebKit bug there that has been patched. Now this does not have anything to do with the jailbreak. So if you are into jailbreaking still, this does not impact that. This is not going to prevent you from jailbreaking or anything like that. This is simply you know something else. This is another WebKit related bug that has been patched here in this update. And because this has been actively exploited, as Apple mentions here, that is likely why we got this release on a Friday. Fridays are very rare for Apple to release software updates, but this must have been important enough and it must have just recently been exploited out in the wild for them to push this update out on a Friday afternoon. But again, besides that, you're not gonna notice anything else new here from 14.4.1. So if you were on 14.4.1 before this and you update to 14.4.2, you're not gonna notice any difference inside the settings on your home screen anywhere in the OS, it's all going to be back-end bug fixes and security enhancements. Now, when it comes to the performance here on 14.4.2, performance for me is about the same as 14.4.1, which was the same as 14.4, so I would not update in hopes of getting a performance boost. And if I go over to our Geekbench scores here, let me go ahead and run a Geekbench score and see how it compares to 14.4.1. So we got a 1597 on the single core and a 4180 on the multi-core score. And if we go over to our history and compare this to 14.4.1, let's see when we had our first run. So our first run here was 1600 on the single core and 4175 on the multi-core. So you can see we do have a slightly higher multi-core and a slightly lower single core here on 14.4. 
0.2. But again, this doesn't really resemble your day-to-day -day usage and you're probably not gonna be able to tell a difference in the performance going from these two updates. And when it comes to battery life, battery life for me was actually worse on 14.4.1 than 14.4. And just looking through my community poll here on YouTube that I ran for 14.4.1 a little bit after it was released, a lot of people were also saying that 14.4.1 got worse battery life and that it heated up more than 14.4. So hopefully iOS 14.4.2 will provide better battery life, but the reality is we're probably gonna have to wait until 14.5 to see any type of fix for battery life. And also most people that have issues with battery life, it's kind of just their own fault and you know how they use their phone on a daily basis. A lot of people like to blame the iOS version for bad battery life, but a lot of times it's really just how they use their phone and their charging habits. But for me, it was a little bit worse, very, very minimal though, maybe like 20 minutes less of screen on time for 14.4.1 from 14.4. So we'll have to wait and see. I will give you guys a follow-up on 14.4.2 sometime next week to let you guys know if battery life is just on par with 14.4.1 or if it's gotten any better. And when it comes to Bluetooth connectivity, it still seems like some people are having issues with that. If we go back to my community poll here on 14.4.1, we have some people mentioning how AirPods are still having connection issues. I did also see some people saying they have issues with CarPlay as well. So I don't know if that's been fixed yet in 14.4.2. Although once again, I doubt it because this is really just an update to patch that security vulnerability and that's it. Nothing else is going to be changed, you know, especially since this update was such a small size. You're really not going to get much with such a small sized update. So should you update to iOS and iPadOS 14.4.2? And I say definitely. You should definitely update if you want to keep your device as secure as possible. Now, you're always at risk when you stay on an older iOS version since they are being, you know, exploited, the bugs are being exploited out in the wild, especially when Apple mentions that something has been exploited, you know, out in the wild like they did for this bug. They mentioned how it was being actively exploited. That's something to be concerned about. I mean, it's very unlikely that it's going to happen to you, but there's still always that chance. So if you don't care about security, then whatever, just stay on the version you're on. Nothing's going to be changed in 14.4.2 aside from that. But, you know, updating to this is not going to impact, you know, a jailbreak or anything like that versus something like 14.4. So if you're worried about that, it's not really going to patch it as far as I know. But yeah, that is a reason to update to keep your device as secure as possible. And then finally, let's talk about iOS 14.5 because this has been a very tricky release. Apple has been having this in beta for a long time now. We're currently on the fifth beta. And since we got 14.4.2 today, I would expect a sixth beta. So I did not see this coming. You know, Apple surprised us. They throw curveballs all the time. That's why I always say it's really hard to tell when something's going to get released and to follow me on Twitter and follow these updates, you know, these videos on my channel regularly so you're not confused about what's been happening so next week is going to be the week of the 29th that's when i would expect to see a new 14.5 beta most likely ios 14.5 beta 6th and then after that the week of april 5th is probably when we'll finally see the rc build of 14.5 and then potentially on the week of the 12th probably on april 13th is when we will see ios 14.5 released to the public now of course this is just a guess this is just going off of what apple usually does they usually wait at least a couple of weeks between ios releases so i don't see the next two weeks you know being a time frame where apple would release ios 14.5 and ipad os 14.5 especially since this is such a big update 14.5 is a massive update i mean there are nearly 100 new features and changes in that update so apple has to make sure to get everything right but again, it is pretty interesting that we had two A builds and then we're still a couple weeks away from the release. So very interesting. But uh, yeah, that's the latest on 14.5 and when we can expect to see that. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is what's new in iOS 14.4.2 and iPadOS 14.4.2. Really not much to talk about. Really just the security vulnerability update, the security patch for that WebKit bug. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I like bringing you guys these videos every single time a new one's released, no matter how big or small. And if you enjoyed that, I would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next iOS release, which will most likely be iOS 14.5, but I'm not gonna make any promises just because Apple is extremely confusing this time. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.